Well, many people are aware that the Statue of Liberty was not constructed by Americans. It was a gift from France, not from the French government, but from people of France. Interestingly, this gift did not arrive in one piece. The statue was dismantled into over 300 copper pieces and transported in 214 crates via friendship. But it was missing the eye-catching arm that was holding the torch. For six years, for six years it was located in Madison Square Park. Why? Its purpose was to raise funds to support the construction of a pedestal. We'll get into fundraising and interesting facts about it. But let me start with some numbers. There are seven spikes on the crown symbolizing unity and liberty among the seven oceans and the continents. There are 25 windows in the head which adds up to seven, two plus five. There are 16 leaves around the torch which also adds up to seven, one plus six. Finally, the monument is 151 feet tall which also adds up to, you guessed it right, seven, one plus five plus one. Now let's look at the financing side. Finance guy, finance has to come in play. Because this was not funded by the French government, the sculptor of this statue, Auguste Bartholdi, launched an interesting crowdfunding initiative to raise funds. He made and sold Lady Liberty statues of six inches and 12 inches sizes with the names of the contributors engraved at the bottom. The 6-inch statue was sold for $1 and the 12-inch for $5. It was through this initiative that he was able to raise the necessary funds. Isn't that a fantastic idea if you're working on a product startup and need to raise money? The French raised enough money to build the statue but left the construction of the platform to the United States. However, the 1880s was a very difficult period for the US. Prolonged civil war. Unfortunately, funding dried up halfway through the project and it all felt it was not gonna happen. That's when Joseph Pulitzer, best known for the Pulitzer Prize, came up with a solution. What was that? Crowdfunding. But in a slightly different way, he made a direct appeal to the US citizens to fund the remaining project costs. He used his newspaper, The World, to reach out to the citizens in mass. Let us not wait for the millionaires to give us this money. It is not a gift from millionaires of France to the millionaires of America, but a gift from the people of France to people of America. And it worked. They raised $100,000 in six months from 125,000 Americans with an average contribution of 80 cents per person, making it a truly grassroots effort. Mr. Pulitzer led by example, contributing $250 of his own funds. And remember, this was 1880s. Uh, the value of money in today's terms would be far more higher. In addition, he published the names of all 125,000 backers in his newspaper. Isn't this an amazing crowdfunding project? Today, so many startups and NGOs use it. One of the most iconic structures, a must-visit UNESCO World Heritage Site, was built and set up through crowdfunding. The curious me is always looking for interesting stories like this. I'm Bhairav Kothari, and I look forward to receiving your feedback on this video.